One figure skater probably feels quite at home at a summer sports festival, American Michael Weiss, whose father and mother were gymnasts and whose sister was a diver. For live men's figure skating, sponsored by MCI, here then is Peter Carruthers. Five-time national champion and 96 world champion Todd Eldridge leads the men in experience and hopes to spin to perfection for more gold. Russian teenager Yevgeny Plashenko bolted to the top, capturing a bronze at his first world championship. He's here to challenge and has an eye on his rivals. Alexei Armanov is making his comeback after sitting on the sidelines for a year due to injury. This Olympic champion has healed and is ready for a fight for the gold. Welcome to the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum as we begin our four nights of figure skating coverage. Hi everybody, I'm Peter Carruthers and we will begin with the men's short program, so let's get right to the chase. Joining me is Olympic silver medalist and world champion Rosalind Sumners. We are aware of so many good skaters in this competition, but there's one we haven't talked about, and that is Michael Weiss. Well, and Michael was sixth at the Olympics, and he's actually looking stronger and much more relaxed here than in Nagano. His next goal is the U.S. title, which would mean he'd have to defeat five-time champion Todd Eldridge, but he's hungry and he's using this competition as his first quest for that medal. And actually, Peter, all of these men are <laughs> looking great. so strong. None of them have missed a beat of training or conditioning since the Olympics. I mean, they all just look great doing triples, combinations, quads, back-to-back, -back, long programs. I mean, it's amazing. And this is summer. They should be taking a vacation and they're out here they're looking great. Tough group of skaters. Right now, we're going to take a look of, at the group of skaters that are in this competition. Here's the first group that we'll see this evening. Stephen Cousins from Great Britain and Timothy Gable from the United States, that new hope. And then later on this evening, this will be the second group. And what a tough group of skaters. Alexei Ermanov. And speaking of of Alexei Ermanov. It has been 16 months since Alexei Ermanov withdrew before his long program at the 97 Worlds. His groin injury not only prevented him from defending his Olympic crown in Nagano, but left him wondering whether he could skate at all. Tonight, he will find out some answers. My groin doing better, but sometimes I feel that something inside still, still there. Some uh, some small pain and something not not for hundred percent right. I'm now not in the good form. I didn't compete one and a half year. Of course, it will be it will be very difficult for me to compete because I think I forget a little bit how to, how to do this. So it will be it will be nice practice for me. I don't think that I win some medal. I think more difficult for me was that uh, not to see the Olympics, not to see the world, not to see the European or some different competition. It was difficult, of course, but more difficult was that uh, I was with injury and nothing helped for me. And I, I can't do nothing. I just sit and wait, and I was in hospital, there, there, and nobody don't understand what real can help for me, and this was more difficult for me. Well, we'll see Alexei Armanov a little later on. Here's Todd Eldridge. We'll be right back with Group Run in just a moment. <laughs> to Long Island and here's a list of the short program required elements for the men. They must all complete these required elements in order for it to work in their favor. The judges will be taking deductions if these are not performed. And here's a man that is called Mr. Charisma of figure skating. He is Stephen Cousins at the 1994 Winter Olympics, he was the first British man to land a triple axel in competition. Believe it or not, he is a nine-time British national champion and a joy to watch, but what's on his mind right now is hitting these required elements in the short program. 
He's skating to cool jazz, which is really going to show off that charisma we're talking about. His coach is Doug Lee, who also coached Brian Orser and Steven Trains with Elvis Stoiko. <laughs> few skaters that can get the audience right in his grip in the first few seconds of a program and yet all that matters right here is the triple axle triple toe loop combination really moving in he's got to stay perpendicular to the ice to hit it the f oh just, just didn't have that height peter footwork clean and precise camel change camel spin again the spins being just as important in the short program as the jumps the triple lutz and you have to do those footwork steps leading up to the triple Ooh! hung on to it once you start leaning in the air that's the result right into straight line footwork fairly easy move just a double axle here Nice. They all must perform that. Believe it or not, next year, they will be able to perform quads in the short program. For now, only a triple. It's also very hard to be the first skater out of the evening. The judges not knowing how to judge the marks. You make a mistake or you set the standard for the skaters coming up behind you. Six-year-old Stephen Cousins from Great Britain off to a little bit of a rocky start. But we will come back with his scores after this. It's, I feel like I, it's good. I feel like Welcome back to Long Island. Stephen Cousins, having just finished his short program, a little bit of a rocky start in the beginning with a fall on the triple axle. His coach beside him, Robert Tebby. And Roz, what happened here? Well, you'll see he has a very stiff knee on this takeoff. He just doesn't get the height that takes one to complete the triple axle, let alone get a combination triple toe off of that. And that could be up to four tenths of a deduction for that fall. Here are the required elements, and obviously they're taking Starting the very low with a 4.6 and a 4.5. Again, he was a little squeaky on the triple lutz. Footwork was a little slow. And his marks for presentation. I three, I three, I three, I three. Now on the ice, Timothy Gable from Lakewood, Ohio. And this is the way it read for Timothy at the World Championships. He was officially confirmed as the first U.S. athlete in figure skating to hit the quadruple jump. He's only 17 years old, and he is very excited to be here. However, in practice, he's looked a little bit inexperienced, but now it's about the eight required elements that he must perform in order to compete with some of the best men in the sport of figure skating. Peter, he said he's not been intimidated on these practices with Olympic gold medalists, and yet the practices have been weak. And actually, I think he's been more in awe to be out here. And this is where the experience starts, right here tonight. Or 
start with the Greek. Coached by Carol Heist Jenkins, who also coaches Tanya Kwiatkowski. They train together. He said he's learned from her to have a goal and the determination to get it done. He opens with a footwork into a triple Lutz. Oh, really leaning. He hung on to it. He put the hand down, two-footed landing. He's leaning over on the takeoff. Right into the difficult triple axle, triple toe loop combination. Turned it into a double toe, but it's okay. The triple axle was solid. What he's able to do so well is really spring into the air and achieve quick rotation. Interesting takeoff to a double axle. He said he's not really thinking about placement here. He just wants to learn from the other skaters. Spin combination. Difficulty. Again, going to the short program, you just tick off the elements in your head. You have to take it one at a time. You can't get ahead of yourself. Circular footwork. Again, it's all about filling out the ice, the intricacy, difficulty of the steps. The final death drop. Again, his first time in front of the senior international competition judges. He wants to make that first impression. Hello. <laughs> Good for him. Well, he made his impression in Lausanne, Switzerland on March 8th at the ISU Junior Series Finals in Lausanne, and it was at the World Championships in March that they said, yes, he was the first American to land a quadruple jump. Now, what happens here is he starts to lean. If you lose that perpendicular look to the ice, it's so hard to fight through the jumps. Here's the triple axel. Nice knee bend with height, perfect leg positions. Chose to do a double toe instead of a triple toe, but that is not a deduction. Fun to see, you know. Oh. No, just Carol Heights always yeah. has so much energy and gives such motivation to her skaters. Certainly an icon in the sport. Absolutely. She's very positive. Which is so important in the development of a young 17-year-old like Timothy Gable. And he is awaiting his scores for required elements. Not his best, but I think, Roz, just to hold your nerves together in a major international like this is the greatest learning experience he can take out of this Goodwill Games competition. And he also took a step up from the practices we've been seeing all week. A sign of a champion. <laughs> You know, it's that intense few minutes after you skate that you go through all these corrections of, if I'd done this, if I'd done that, but it's really an important time. Here are the marks he will await no longer. Low of 4.5 up to 5.3, but remember, folks, 4.9. The 5.6 for presentation. He's just getting started. But here is a man who is not just getting started. He is 26-year-old Todd Eldridge from 
Chatham, Massachusetts originally. Five-time U.S. champion and the 96 world champion. He fell out of the medals in Nagano, but then came back in March in Minneapolis and showed that he could still compete and fight. And he continues to do that here at these Goodwill Games. Todd Eldridge is in shape and ready to go. His short program about to take place. Peter, he's a classy guy, and he took that disappointment, and he really put it into perspective. And you can tell he has not let down since Nagano. He's very trained. We've seen very solid practices. And he opens his program with a triple axle, triple toe loop. Peter, he's very consistent in the short program. Sometimes it's the long program where he can start to fall apart. But this is something that he has nailed. Absolutely gorgeous. Huge triple axle. Nice solid start to the performance. He's going to go right into footwork, triple lutz. You can really see him start to lean, and no matter what, he pulls it off. And that shows a true fighter, Peter. And great awareness of where he is in the air. And he's not just a jumper. He has very solid, centered, fast spins. This was the short program that he choreographed and changed just a month before the Olympics. It was a controversy, but it's been good to him. Double axel. So light. Circular footwork. Yeah, entertaining the judges. He's really learned over the last few years. We've seen him come out of his shell in the performance of him. Nice death drop with a very interesting position on the back sit spin. So in control. Not losing any speed. Kept up the strength of the whole program. Look at the speed on this. Back sit with a back scratch bend. Todd Eldridge lights him up here in Long Island. And we will be back with his scores in just a moment. What a performance. Back in Long Island, Todd Eldridge, his scores. Let's see the triple axle first. Absolute textbook legs, height. So much time to land it and take off for the triple toe loop. Beautiful. Fantastic, his scores come in very high. Five eight solid right across the board. The presentation scores, a little drop with China, but still, Todd Eldridge is the one everyone is chasing. Right now, Alina Zmivskaya giving Takeshi Honda of Japan some last minute advice. Takeshi's 17 years old. He trains in Simsbury, Connecticut. He took 11th at the Worlds and then 15th at the Olympics in Nagano. In 1996, he became the youngest male ever to win a Japanese title. 
The music two minute warning, specially composed for him by Ernie Albert, choreographer Leanne Miller has really tried to bring out Takeshi's strength and personality here opening with the triple axle, triple, triple toe loop. Spot on, took his time between the jumps. Judges right in front of them, they were able to see that. Going into the triple lutz right here. Sequence steps before it. Nice. He's really on. And Peter, he's actually skating more solid with more confidence even since Nagano. Straight line footwork. Totally attacking. Nice death drop. Look at the absolute perfect control of the sit spin position. Serpentine footwork. That means they do half lobes across the rink and then down the rink. He's completed the hard elements. Here comes a double axle. Should be easy, and it Beautiful. is. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. Thing to be able to have fun in a short program as well as mastering the pressure of those elements. Combination spin. Oh, he's going to be very proud. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> yeah. That's the most relaxed I've seen Takeshi Honda on the ice under pressure like that, and that's so true what you say, Roz, is just getting into the music, letting the elements happen. Galina Smevskaya feeling the same way. Todd Eldridge certainly lit it up in here, and then Takeshi Honda followed through with this. And here's the triple axle right up. Look at the tight legs taking his time, setting himself up for a beautiful triple toe loop right in front of the judges. Wonderfully done, and a good low position in this sit spin. Notice how he stays in one place. So important to stay centered on a spin like this. And there's Kalina just saying, whew, I'm glad it's over. My student did well. Very good. Bye. Of course, Galina Smevskaya <laughs> coached Victor Petrenko to Olympic gold and Hello, Oksana yeah. Bayul. Hi, Matthew. <laughs> Scott, hello. Hey, Scott. Fabian, hello. Huge <laughs> hello. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. A much better performance than what we saw in Nagano from Takeshi. Here are his scores. Uh, quite low, actually, a 5.1, especially with the absolute textbook quality of that triple combination. Yeah, you have to ask yourself with the I don't British quite judge, that. where'd they take the deduction? And now Skins presentation. Were perfect. I even felt the presentation mark should be higher than this, Peter. He was right on. You like to see the skater awarded the proper marks when they really turn in a good performance. So Takeshi Honda has really nailed it in the short program. And here are the standings so far 
in the men's short program competition. Todd Eldridge from the United States in first, Takeshi Honda from Japan in second, Stephen Cousins from Great Britain in third, and Timmy Gable from the United States in fourth. Right now, Alice Cook is with Todd Eldridge in what we call the backstage area. Okay, Peter, Todd, it seemed like you were having a lot of fun out there tonight. Oh, I was. You know, anytime you go out and you skate well, you have fun. Uh, yeah, I just wanted, actually, it's funny, I just really wanted to go out there and, and almost do just another performance. You know, it's, I've been on tour for a while, but it was just kind of like, do another performance and see what happens. How have you been able to keep up your level of skating since Worlds and Olympics? Well, it's actually been interesting. I've only, really only had like the last week to get into remembering the programs and training. Uh, so maybe that's been a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> and the strategy for the long, more the same? Yeah, just the same deal. You know, I got one more performance this year before I get my vacation and, and uh, you know, hopefully it'll go just as well as tonight. Okay, looking forward to that vacation, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. Back to you, Peter. All right, Alice. A very composed young man. Alexei Armanov is coming up. We got a great competition. Don't go away. More from Long Island when we continue. Welcome back to the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum here in Long Island. And here's the order for the men to follow in this great men's short program competition. Alexei Armanov, the 94 gold medalist, will go out first. Michael Weiss from the United States will skate second in this group. And Li Yongfei from China, third. Evgeny Plusha and Evgeny Plushenko to follow. And Roz, the big story really here has been about Alexei Ermanov. Will he be able to be as competitive now as he was before considering this injury that he withstained? Well, he said he's very nervous, but you can tell in practices he's very calm, he's very controlled, he's very concentrated. He's a much more mature skater than we saw last. He's been hitting every jump. He looks like he's going to be fine. He the, does have the experience behind him, Peter. Absolutely the experience. And here's someone who doesn't have a lot of experience, but he has just been really on fire throughout the skating season. He is 15-year-old Yevgeny Plashenko, a master of the quad, coached by the same man, Alexei Mission. And you have to admire how he gets up into the air on jumps. And of course, Michael Weiss, who I've said has been skating so well in practices, also looking very calm and controlled. He actually has a baby on the way, and he has been skating so strong and solid. Bit of a disappointing Olympics for him. He's got it together here, though. Proud father-to-be. That'll <laughs> motivate you. Absolutely. But he has been really terrific in practice, and look at the upper body strength that he has. It's really tremendous. Alexei Armanov has been a little out of the loop, as we know, but if anybody can put a game face on when necessary, it is this man, the 94 Olympic gold medalist. Always a quite interesting costume, to say the least. And he won the Goodwill Games in 1994, so he's very comfortable here, at least under this atmosphere. So Alexei Armanov, with gloves in place, gets ready to fire off the eight required elements that he must really execute and execute well because Todd Eldridge has really been the master of that. Then Takeshi Honda followed with another great program. So the pressure is on. 94 gold medalist once again is back in the equation. Taking his time to get focused. And again, we've talked about textbook jumps. And he has them opening here with a triple axle, triple toe loop. Whoa. <laughs> uh, hung on to the landing. The triple
triple axle was absolutely perfect. Didn't quite have the speed coming out of it but the triple toe, but he did hang on. Going right into footwork, into a triple Lutz jump. And look at the posture he has going into the jumps. That's what makes that triple Lutz so good. And he stays on that perfect back outside edge. No cheat there. Right into a flying sit spin. Scene. He's actually really grown and matured here. You can see a new strength. Looks more like a man on the ice now. 25 years old. Nice double axle. It's not showing. He's skating very smooth. Here are the straight line footwork. Again, all about the intricacy. <laughs> Final combination spin doesn't quite have the speed and the strength as Todd Eldridge. And that's where the marks are going to show. Well, for a man that's been out of competition. Quite a comeback. And a very competitive comeback. Alexei Romanov, 25 years old from Russia, trains in St. Petersburg. A good performance. We'll be back with his scores in just a moment. Welcome back. We're in the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, and there is Coach Alexei Mission as Ermanov waits for his scores. The triple Lutz, textbook perfect. And there's that solid back edge, outside edge, no cheat, perfect. Here are the required elements. Remember, Todd Eldridge has skated very well. Can Ermanov catch him? Five, six to five, five, five to 5.7. The presentation scores will tell us that from 5.7 up to 5.9, no, Eldridge is in first place still, with Alexei Romanov in second, and Takeshi Honda in third, thus far in the men's short program competition. And here is 21-year-old Michael Weiss, who trains in Fairfax, Virginia. And guess what, folks? He will have his 22nd birthday on Sunday during the figure skating exhibitions here at the Goodwill Games. He was married last season. And as Rosalind mentioned, he is expecting a child. There's his wife, Lisa. Their child due in September. And Lisa actually choreographed his long program, but Brian Wright choreographed this short program music, Baghdad. under the pressure, starting with the triple Lutz. Oh, what a... Completely, completely missed the toe pick. That was a Didn't disaster. Even... That was a disaster. Didn't even get a double off. Four tenths of a point deduction. And he has to follow that with a triple axle, triple toe loop. And Peter, I have not seen him make that mistake in practices. That's what happens when all of a sudden you have the pressure of competition. Can't change the timing, Roz. Not at all. He needs this triple axle. Hung on to the triple axle. Changed it to a double toe loop. No deduction. Combination spin very strong. Step sequence. 
ones. Double axle. Well, Peter, a disappointing start with a completely missed element, the triple Lutz, hung onto the triple axle. He said he wanted to start off the new Olympic quadrennium with a bang here at the Goodwill Games, not by missing his toe on the triple Lutz and having a failed jump. So let's take a look and see what happened. A totally bad position that is on the vaulting foot before he takes off. Here's the triple axle. Little leaning in the air. He was able to hang on to it, though. Turn this into a double. He's been so absolutely perfect in practice. There's his wife, Lisa. A hug of encouragement. I mean, <laughs> look at the strength this man has. It's so amazing to think that he missed that jump, but I really think that comes down to timing. If you put too much into something as you're springing into the air, that can be the results. You almost have to relax and just rely on your training to take you through and not try to change anything in the heat of the moment. And that's what the nerves can do, Peter. And how? To his left, Audrey Wissiger. His coach, longtime coach, started him skating actually. <laughs> Trying to make sense of what happened. And remember, this is a man who has landed a quadruple Lutz, so to only get up in the air and do nothing on the Lutz, pretty much a bad situation for him and a bad situation with the marks, a low of 4.7. Presentation up a little bit higher to 5.6. So Michael Weiss goes into fourth place behind Takeshi Honda with Todd Eldridge in the lead and Alexei Armanov in second. Representing China, our warm-up now for Young Fei From China, 19-year-old Li Young Fei, who lives and trains in Harbin, China, 1998, national champion and the world junior bronze medalist from 98.
and just a slip right off there. Trying to hang on to the spin. A lack of experience. artistry and yet we're seeing him struggle here tonight also on the jumps and the spins. Double axle. We're not seeing the tight leg position that we saw in jumps Takeshi Honda, Todd Eldridge. And that will bring technical marks down. Circular footwork. Again, the element not being as difficult as the other men we've seen tonight. Nineteen-year-old Li Yongfei from China. Stay with us. We'll be back with more skating in just a moment. Back in Long Island, New York, the men's short program very much underway, and Li Yongfei scores for required elements range from 4.2 to 4.8, and the presentation went from 4.8 to 5.1. Right now, you are looking at Yevgeny Pliuta from Ukraine. 24 years old, and he took ninth at the World Championships. People really didn't know a lot about him, but he has tremendous speed when he skates. The problem is if he starts to lean on the jumps, he can really fall off. national scene. Opening with a triple axle, triple toe loop. He's moving. But... Two foot the landing, a little bit of a turn, change the triple into a double. He's only been training for two weeks prior to the Goodwill Games due to a strain in his right ankle, so that has set him back a little bit. On top of that, he's de debuting a brand new short program. Here, footwork into a triple Lutz. Wow. Nice. Very nice. Yevgeny Pliuta from Ukraine suffered an injury prior to the Goodwill Games, 
But Rosalind, it is so true in the short program. It isn't just about connecting the dots between the eight required elements. You really have to show some presentation in between those required elements, but they're so hard that everybody only thinks of those required elements. And he really didn't get much heights in this double axle. He just kind of skims across, puts in the free leg, a little bit of a turn, double toe. So Pliuta will now get his scores for the short program. From Ukraine, trains in Kiev. And there's a quick look at the man who could really upset a lot of things in this men's competition. What a dramatic situation taking place with Yevgeny Plashenko, 15 years old. This could be his moment if he skates well. But first, Pliutu's marks. A little bit of delay with the scores. We don't always have answers as to why it takes so long, but Judges individually punch their scores in, and then they go to a master computer. And remember, these scores will all be tabulated with the free program. Here are the required elements, scores, and with the mistakes that occurred, 4.5 to 5.1, and then the presentation scores. Well, Roz, they don't go up that much, but a high of 5.4. Well, here is Yevgeny Plashenko, and I found it very interesting, Roslyn, that the whole time Alexei Romanov was skating, his teammate was right there to watch him. He's 15 years old, and gaining a lot more than experience here. He is fighting. And what a rise from first in 97 at the Junior Worlds right to third place at the 1998 World Championships. He didn't compete in the Olympics because they only had two spots on the team. That shows you the depth. And those two spots were because Romanov did not compete. And that depth starts right here with a triple axle, triple toe loop combination. They've been very solid in practice. A little bit of a hand down, took his time, turned the triple toe into a double toe. Flying camel with a bit of a variation on the end of it. And look at the position of the arms on the ending. That shows control. And it's tough to stop the rotation when you're in that position. Great control. Don't forget, he's grown four inches in one year. So that can really take its toll on the jumps. Circular footwork. Good footwork. Right oh. into a very easy double axle. And you just know, Peter, that these men are going to throw those quads into this short program the minute they're allowed to, starting at Skate America later this season. Here's the straight line footwork. Spin. He actually is doing a Beelman spin. Oh, you don't usually see a man 
to it, and he wasn't able to, even able to hang on to it. Yevgeny Plashenko skating not his best, but we are going to come back with his scores in just a moment. scores they will be coming up shortly for Yevgeny Plushenko for required elements they range from 5.3 up to 5.6 and now the scores for presentation they come up even further so what has happened in this competition folks is that Todd Eldridge from the United States has won the short program. Alexei Ermanov has gone into second position, and Yevgeny Plashenko is in third, with Takeshi Honda in fourth, and Michael Weiss from the United States in fifth. A very strong competition. Jimmy Gable from the United States in sixth. Right now, let's go to Jim Huber in New York.